Hey, this is Ricky Kearney Cichlids, and in this video we're looking at how to prime your front toes. Basically, how to prime your front toes is to get the right water temperature, the right filtration, and the right feeding going on the regimen for your fish. In this case, the front toes. In this case, we're looking at Spiro and Toe. Now, Spiro is one of my best looking males that I have in my whole breeding establishment. And you get a better look at him than you haven't seen him in many videos because of his location. Now, if you see me here, I'm actually my rear end's on the floor here because this tank is on the on the on the floor level here. And behind me, you see some of the front toes here. There's the female and some babies here. And back behind me, over here, is the cave for Spiro. Now. If you take care of these regiments that I'm going to go over in this video, you should definitely get your front hoses to be breed faster and more regular. So check it out, stay tuned, and look at this amazing video with Spyro and Toe and some of their offspring. Stay tuned. For many of you viewers and subscribers, this is the first time you've got a good look at Spyro. He's one of my best breeding males. He's got some amazing color. Now he's heading in this direction to the right. Now you don't get to see his blues as much, but when he turns around, which you'll be able to see in this video, uh, he gets very, very blue. He's got really good markings. And he's been an excellent breeder. When I mean by excellent breeder, he's really good with his female. And his female is right here. And this female is Toe, and she's my biggest female that I have, my biggest female frontosa. Now if you look here, the substrate has been moved up in the front. If you look down the aquarium, it's been cleared off there. Well, some people talk about males moving the sand when they're about to want to breed. But this female moves the sand when she's wanting to breed. And here's some offspring. Look how good that offspring looks from the, this pair. There's four of them in this aquarium. So, what I'm going to be doing is getting them more and more primed to breed. And part of that's through feeding uh, shrimp. And I'll be showing you that in just a bit. Now the only thing that's been going on this, this aquarium has been a fluidized bit filter for filtration and a very small sponge filter. Now the only reason I use a sponge filter is in case there's a power outage and the pumps don't start back up for this, the fluidized bed filter. So I have it going. I've had to do no repeat no filter maintenance in three months and I don't plan on doing it anytime soon and see how he's got his tail back kind of towards the female here that's he's trying to entice her to come out to breed now she's ready because you see all this sand that she's moved uh, plus I'll be feeding her and gets her, her body weight has gone up tremendously in the last few weeks. So it's looking good. Now Spyro's offspring is looking just amazing. If you look at this one in particular, look at the blues on that one. Just amazing. And he looks amazing too, but you want to make sure that the offspring look as just as good as the parents. In this case, they do. I have some more of his offspring, another aquarium that I'm trying to raise up to be to breeding age in the future. Now, if you look in the back here, you see that there's two heaters. Now, this winter, this this aquarium is on the ground. 
actually on the floor. So I did run into some trouble keeping the temperature regulated for when it cooled down in the den because it gets cooler down here during the winter time. So when it comes next winter, if this aquarium is still in the den, uh, I'll be using a different heater, uh, maybe two, but uh, I will not be using the same heaters because I think that kind of put a kind of a uh, slowdown in their breeding process. If you change some of the uh, factors of keeping your front toes, they can stop breeding. Like the temperature is very important. Here you see over here that there's the intake for the fluidized bed filter. And I'll give you a view of the actual fluidized bed filter. It's going right there. Turning away. Look how fast it's turning. Now what I've used here is pull filter sand and a two little fishes media reactor. Works great. No problems. The sand ever spews back into the aquarium. It's the same sand I use for the substrate. Alright, the biggest thing I'm doing now besides having a uh, great filtration system on this aquarium, uh, using two heaters in here, having a large cave for the male, uh, multiple caves for the female uh, is feeding shrimp and I'll show you that. I show that in multiple videos but sometimes a uh, viewer only sees one of my videos so I want to make sure they see that. It's very important. Uh, it's made a big difference between these this pair right here as far as their build up and energy and coloration. So let me get some shrimp and show you the what happens when I put the shrimp in there. It's a little bit colder than I thought. I thought I had thawed out, so let's see how quickly they take it. Look at them go for it. It's gobbling it up. Look at that. Look at that. The little babies, the younger, well, they're not babies, but the younger front toeses, they like to try to get in there and get some too. So I put an extra uh, to make sure that they get some because they've been growing faster too. I'm wanting to leave this aquarium where I can have more than one female in here to breed with Spyro. Uh, so far they've not given any problems to the smaller front toes as you see here. The smaller front toes is eating the shrimp here. So I hope you enjoyed checking out uh, Spyro. He's an amazing front toza, and you get to see my largest female, breeding female. I think that's exciting. Uh, don't forget to feed your uh, front tozas raw, peeled, deveined uh, shrimp. Just thawed out in some warm water, and they'll go to it like crazy. See those babies over there eating it? I mean, I guess here comes Spyro scooping up that big one. And there comes uh, Toe. She's about to chew that one piece up and get another piece. So they're really liking it. And this makes the biggest difference when you're priming your front toes is to breed. Uh, you see that they're already getting this, the toe is getting the sand built up, moving around, and uh, the breeding behavior of uh, Spyro. By putting his back down to her, it's good breeding behavior. So when they do breed, since she's the biggest frontosa, female frontosa toe is, uh, she'll probably have up to 40 or more uh, babies at a time. Uh, and that's going to be awesome to have one brood with that many. 
So thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And check out some other videos from Ricky Kennedy Sickles. Look around the screen and pick one.